This girl's song. Go ahead. Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. <laughs> Not See, I just have that point. I want to do, uh, uh, uh. See, you need someone else to do that part. It's always the guys in the suits. Those are the ones you, you have to watch out We're for. We're scary, Thanks. I'm telling you. All right. Wow. Thanks, Mike. We'll see you tomorrow morning. You're going to like the stuff, Mike, that we have yeah, here, this by is the super way. cool. We're getting ready for the Broncos game Saturday. You might be having a brunch or a party, and we got the perfect items to Bronco up your brunch. You want to start? Sure. This one is, no joke, it is a Broncos toaster, okay? So you put your bread in there, and just like, uh, remember grilled cheeses? Well, this is kind of like that, only instead. It's intentional. Instead, yes. now you get the Broncos logo branded on your toast. Isn't How that about cool? that? Pretty awesome, I That's think. That's great. It, it's $40, and you can get it at PangeaBrands.com. Okay, I've got something similar. It's the sandwich and waffle grill. This one this smells. This one looks good. So, and these are so cute. Look at this. So this one's 50 bucks, PangeaBrand.com. But look look at these waffles. Those, I think, look really awesome if you had it for a, a, a brunch party or whatever else. Isn't that adorable? Proof's in the pudding. Let's look, try it out. Uh, who's, who's got the maple syrup mm, here? Oh, they're good. Uh -huh. mm. Mm -hmm. These are good. All right. Wow. Good stuff. And they look good. We Check like it. Check them out, PangeaBreads.com. Oh, by the way, did you see my Bronco cup and straw today? Yeah, you got real spirit. Mm -hmm. Bronco straw. I'm Time doing now the best for I can. Thrifty Thursday, and it could be a way to save your money on your car, and it won't take any time at all. Yeah, did you know that when, or do you know when you should change your oil? Because the shops are going to tell you you should come in every three mm -hmm. months or every 3,000 miles, right? Where for most drivers of new cars, that's a myth. Ever since buying that first car, we go to Jiffy Loop every 3,000 miles. It's been engraved in our minds. Every 3,000 miles. Change the oil every three months or 3,000 miles. But today we need to put the brakes on that mentality. Now on 2011 and 2012, is 7,500 on most vehicles. Some go up to the 10,000 mile range. That's right. Some newer hybrids and diesels, you only have to change the oil every 10,000 miles. But that's about as high as it gets. 5,000 to 7,000 miles is normal now. Officials in California have recently launched a website campaign telling drivers to not change their oil so often. Checkyournumber.org was set up for drivers in California, but anyone can use it. Enter in your car's make, model, and year and find out how often it needs an oil change. I think we should take care of our vehicles, but I don't think we should be wasting that much oil. It is expensive to get rid of the oil once, once we change it. So why the longer span? Thank all the advances in technology. Engines are more efficient now, the tolerances are tighter, the oil's better. But the marketing campaigns have stayed. All right, so you don't have to go. I always look at the little sticker in my, you know, window there and then double it. Oh, gosh, I was supposed to go back in April. Better and your car's still change. running. It's still running, yeah, so it must be doing something right. And the show runs on to stick around more after the break, including her big cheerleading moment. Oh, boy. Oscar nominee Michael Clark Duncan talks Tebow and his new show right here on Fox, My One-on-One, -on -One, coming up. And bring it on. It's our everyday cheerleader tryouts. How much do you spend on kids' birthday parties? Too much? We'll have some help. Would you go out in your PJs? We have the new trend that might make you say yes.